this video, let's look at working with color specularity maps as well as glow or emissive maps in 3D Code. Now with color specularity, all we really need to do is simply enable, enable the color and the specularity channel and apply whatever color we need as well as the specularity level that we need and then change the blending mode. And obviously we can change the opacity, you can adjust the specularity contrast or specularity brightness in the blending panel. And when you export out, 3D Code will create a specular color map for you. Now, with Glow, it's really no different than just painting simple diffuse texture, except in this case, 3D Coat will provide you upon export a separate emissive map as well. Now I do need to point out that as of this recording, 3D Coat, even when used as a blending mode, 3D Coat will still see this layer as a diffuse layer. Okay, and so it's going to merge that with all the other color and all the other layers. It's going to merge it into one map, as you see here. If you want just the separate map without it being baked into the diffuse color, then what you need to do is export that layer okay, as emissive, and it will create this layer for you. Thereafter, you can just hide that layer upon export. Okay. Now the color specularity, you don't need to go through those steps. It should provide you with just a simply a separate map. Okay, and I think that should cover working with color specularity and glow maps in 3D Code. Thank you.